guys. So I was recently tagged by Ink Bones Books, who has a really great channel that you should definitely check out if you're not subscribed to her already, to do the behind the scenes tag. So question number one, where do you find inspiration for your videos? Other people's videos and the books I read? Question number two, do you have a word document, notebook, etc. dedicated to video ideas? Sometimes I'll write a script for a video if it's a tag like this and jot down answers for each question. Or I might write a list of the upcoming videos I want to make in a journal or as a note on my iPod. Question number three, how do you prep for a video? I set up my filming space. I make sure I have all the books that I'm going to talk about and usually put them somewhere by my feet so I can get to them quickly. And I turn my phone and iPod on silent. Question number four, how long does it take to prepare your appearance for a video? It really just depends if I've already gotten ready for the day. I don't really do much out of the ordinary. I pretty much just do what I would for going to work. Question number five. What time of day do you film? I like to film in the day if I can because the lighting is better, but right now it is 8.43 p.m. Question number six. Show or tell us where you film. So this is what my bookshelves usually look like when I'm not filming. Question number seven, natural lighting or studio lighting? Natural is 10 times better than what I can manage with just my ceiling lights, but I do use a reflector so my face is evenly lit. That would be this thing. And if I am filming at night, I make sure that I have the correct white balance and I adjust the exposure so that my video is not orange. Question number eight, what type of camera do you film with? I have a Sony Alpha 580. It was a college graduation present in 2011 as well as the matching microphone, which is not the best microphone ever, but it's certainly better than just using the camera's microphone. Question number nine. Do you ever script your videos slash go off of an outline? Sometimes. <laughs> I used to script every single video, down to every word, and now I usually don't, but occasionally, for a video like this, I will. Question number 10. If you edit your videos, what editing program do you use? For a long time, I used Windows Movie Maker because it was free and came with my computer. But a couple of months ago, I started using Lightworks, which is also free and lets you do picture-in-picture -picture and animate titles, edit volume levels and all sorts of fancy things. Question number 11. How long are your unedited videos before editing them down? Like pretty much everyone else who has done this tag, my footage is about twice as long as my finished video. Question number 12. How many times a week do you film? Usually one or two. Number 13. How often do you pre-film videos? Actually, usually all the time. I'll try and do two or three in one day, and then I'll be set for the next few weeks. But usually my camera will either die because I forgot to charge the battery, or it will just overheat and stop in the middle of a sentence. Question number 14. How long will a typical video take between setting up for filming and uploading to YouTube? Since I often pre-film, it can take a couple weeks. If I don't count the non-video making process time, it could be three hours, most of which is editing. Since I started using Lightworks, the time for exporting and uploading to YouTube has gone way down since Lightworks only exports to 720p rather than 1080p. And that's the behind the scenes tag. Let me know if you have any other questions about what it's like to make videos. I hope this was an enlightening video for you, and I'll see you next time.